हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू मेशी आर्ट्स द चैनल वेर यू कैन लर्न ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ क्राफ्ट डी आई वाई एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट सो मेनी रिव्यूज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आई यूज पर्सनली सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद अ न्यू ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रोशे नाइन टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स बेबी सैंडल्स these are very easy and quick to make the beginners can also follow it very easily so first we are going to make the sole for the sole okay let me tell you what things you will be needing i am over here using 4 mm hook and you will be needing a stitch marker a tapestry needle a a scissor a pair of scissors and some yarn I thought that my yarn is very thin so I am using double strand of yarn. So let's get started. Starting with the slip knot, we are going to chain 13 and 14 after making 14 chains you are going to do two half double crochets into the second chain from your hook so yarn over and this is my second chain in this second chain i am going to make two half double crochets this is my first half double crochet and this is the second one now you are going to do half double crochets in each of the chain 11 times so in total we will have 11 half double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 last one 11 once you have made 11 half double crochets you will be having only one chain left and in this chain we are going to make six half double crochets and what i am going to do is i am going to make three half double crochets on this side and three half double crochets on the other side like i am going to keep this knot over here and in this way i am going to make three half double crochets over here continue doing 11 half double crochets into the next 11 stitches 11 chains and join me back okay so i have completed over here 11 half double crochet and now my last chain is left and in this last chain i am going to do two half double crochets and slip stitch to finish my first round i am going to slip stitch into my first stitch or the first half double crochet we did and this is the slip stitch chain 1 and now i'm going to start my second round and in this round we are going to do two single crochets into the same stitch so this is my first single crochet and into the same i'm going to do my second single crochet into the next stitch we are going to make two single crochets 
so we did two single crochet into the first stitch two single crochet into the second one and now we are going to make uh, eight single crochets into the next eight stitches so one two three four five six seven and eight after making eight single crochets we are going to make three half double crochets into the next three stitches one half double crochet second half double crochet and this is the third half double crochet after completing three half double crochets now you are going to do two double crochets into next six stitches okay so now we are going to do double crochet double crochet it means yarn over draw through two loops yarn over draw through two loops so this is our first double crochet the second double crochet into the next stitch we are going to make two double crochets two double crochets into the next two double crochets into the next one two double crochets into another next one and one more set of two double crochets how many sets do we have now this was our one two three four five and six after having six sets of double crochets we are now going to do half double crochet three times one half double crochet second half double crochet and the third half double crochet after three half double crochets we are going to make eight single crochets And after 8 single crochets, we are going to make 2 single crochets into each of the last 2 stitches. So, this, these are the 2 stitches uh, left. No, I think uh, this one is to be man. Oh, yes. Now, these are the 2 stitches left. And in these 2 stitches, we are going to make 2 single crochets. And slip stitch to complete this round we have completed our second round and now we are on the, our third round that is the last round of our sole and for this we are going to make two single crochets so into the same stitch make one single crochet and one single crochet into the next now what you have to do you have to make two half double crochets in next three stitches yarn over this is first half double crochet into the same stitch second half double crochet one more set of half double crochet and one more set of half double crochet so we have three sets of half double crochet in next three stitches now what we are going to do we are going to make eight half double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight I have made eight half double crochets into eight stitches and now I'm going to make three double crochets in next three stitches double crochet okay this is first double crochet now this is the second one and the third one now here is the time when we are on the toe part and in this part we are going to do the sequence of two double crochets one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet and this set will continue for the sixth time so this is two double crochet into one stitch and a double crochet into the next one 
again two double crochet one double crochet in this way you are going to do it for for six times okay so here I am I have made two double crochet one double crochet six times and now I'm going to do double crochet into next three stitches one double crochet the second one and the third one now you are going to do half double crochets into next eight stitches so this is first half double crochet second third fourth fifth and the eighth one now what you have to do is two double crochets in each of the next three stitches so this is two double crochets in next stitch another two double crochets in next stitch and one more time two double crochet in our next stitch and now what you have to do single crochet and a slip stitch to complete your sole so at this part when we have completed our sole what are we going to do we are going to take another sole which I have already made and put the wrong side over here and on this we are going to put like this like the, the two wrong sides will be facing each other in this way. Now we have to join these two I'm not uh, cutting my yarn I would like to continue otherwise there are and this this tail should be inside you must be careful to make your work neat and clean it looks very good if your work is neat so we are now going to join these two soles and how to join look at it very carefully very easy and simple you simply have to pass your hook yarn over pull through and pull through all the loops okay so in this way you are going to join your two soles remember these two and the two loops of the bottom sole and join them together like this all the way around so friends this is my last stitch and I have completed my work and now what I am going to do is I am going to uh, cut the yarn and this part I will be joining at like this let me take my okay so I've stopped over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down like this and see this is properly done and now at the back side what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these tails like this between the sole once it's hidden it won't be visible anymore and you can cut this extra yarn so see how neat and clean your soles are okay so once you have completed your this sole now let me show you how to start your uh, back part okay so let me show you over here I have just they just done this the right right foot sandal and it looks something like this after making it out so what I have done is I have started from here okay like this I have started from here and we are going to go back and forth and the steps are going to be very uh, comfortable so now what I want is my strap to come over here for the left foot 
so for the left foot what i am going to do is i am going to start from here from the outside like this and we are going to work into our stitches which we can see like these these stitches we are going to work in so now I want total of if this if this is the center I am going to make 11 from here and 11 from here we need total of 22 so if I mark this stitch over here okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this is the 11th stitch let me mark over here like this okay and from here if we go like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this is the 11th one you can see see this one is the 11th stitch and from here we are going to start our work okay so uh, if you want you can keep your now you can keep your stitch marker over here so total we are going to make 22 stitch we are going to work on 22 stitches okay so let's start Grab your yarn and here. Okay, chain one as in standing chain, but this won't be count as a stitch. Now we are going to make a half double crochet. Next, another half double crochet into the next one. In this way, we are going to make 22 half double crochets. Okay, so I am on my last stitch and that is 22nd stitch. Let me count again if I am not wrong. Yeah, we have to make one more. So we have completed our 22 stitches and now we are on the second row of our uh, back stitch chain 1 turn your work and you do it you into the first one you have to make half double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and in the 11th one you have to decrease so how to decrease look at it carefully yarn over draw through draw through two loops yarn over into the next stitch draw through two loops now you have three loops on your hook and draw through all of these three so this is how our decrease stitch is made so we are going to do only one decrease okay and the rest we are going to continue as it is so at the end of this round we will have 21 say half double crochets this is the last one after making half double crochet all the way around with a decrease in the center we will have 21 stitches and now you have to make two more rows of half double crochet back and forth now i have completed my two rows of half double crochet and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna chain 17 so for the straps okay now we are making this strap one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And now into the fifth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four, five. 
we are going to make okay and into the sixth one we are going to make a single crochet this will be hole for our button that we are going to attach to the strap uh, to the uh, to the to the side of our um, sandal okay now what you have to do you have to simply make single crochet all the way round from here till all the way around from here till here and now at this point when you come over here you simply have to fasten off so once you have completed your step and fasten off your work cut the yarn and fasten off now it's time to make this part of our sandal so for this what we are going to do is we are going to make uh, leave a bit of tail over here and make a chain 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 after making 11 chains now we are going to attach over here so into your uh, left foot what you are going to do is you are going to attach it into the fourth chain so one two three and four this is the fourth one make sure you keep your okay, one, two three four and on this one with a slip stitch now make another single crochet like this now what you have to do you have to go down your chain working four half double crochets into your chain so this is our first half double crochet second third and the fourth now oh sorry three half double crochets yeah four half double crochets now you have to do single crochet one two three and four after doing four single crochets You have to make three slip stitch one two and the third one okay so now what you have to do cut your yarn and fasten off now it's time to place it on it so we are going to pull these two ends into not into the center one but into the next one where our thumb will be so grab your hook and bring it over here like this and take both of these ends through your work like this this is the second one grab this one also and bring it down okay so here will be the thumb and these this we are going to attach it like this attach a button over here with this tail or you can take another yarn and now what you have to do with this one or oh, let me show you over here what you can do is you simply have to take this part and bring it across over here like this now simply tie 
some tight knots over here so that it doesn't get off and secure these tails within your sole it won't be visible and our yarn our yarn work will be secured in this way do it over here also now after making these what you have to do is you have to decorate your sandals with any of the flower you like or you can attach the ready made flowers that you can find in this way so after finishing your work these beautiful booties are ready and i hope you like the tutorial please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed also share and comment my videos for the uh, flower motif you can go on uh, you can go and click on the links that you are being visible on to your screens or you can search Mishi Arts flowers and you are going to get many different types of flowers. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.